Meditation inshaAllah is, is important when we're bringing in energy and we have a lot of negative energy that we collect from everywhere around us. It's important to bring in the energy and understand that we have to ground to push out every type of negativity. And, and that is in the breathing practices that when we're breathing and anytime we start to do our energy practices, the positive energy that we're bringing in and with one hand grounding so that all the negativity is to ground out. And that's why also the asa that when we carry the asa is the same, it's the third prong. That as we walk on the earth and, and the electromagnetic force and the dunya energy is coming up the feet and the heavenly emanations that are tons of rahmah that are coming to dress the heart and the soul and the clash for insan will then be at the belly because the heavenly energy coming, the dunya energy is coming and then the clash and the root of all sicknesses going to be then the belly. The asa and the cane for both men and women is that they hold and that's a grounding for negative energy so that not to clash. So when they hold the asa then the negative energy is being grounded back to the earth inshaAllah and has the reward of seven martyrs. Anyone who revives the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad So alhamdulillah and, and Allah also has many realities that were described for Sayyidina Musa that what you have in your hand Ya Musa is that this is also a, a protection that if Allah want to put the spiritual energy within the asa and many, many nefarious beings see that energy and stay away because they're carrying the sunnah of the heavens, they carry the, the majesty, the majestic sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad has the immense reality. So that's why we have on the SNC the sunnah of the asa. All of these are a majestic sunnah. So when somebody wears a ring it's not okay, oh this is very stylish, uh, yeah but you got 70 reward of 70 martyrs. In a time in which the importance of Sayyidina Muhammad is by devils trying to be brought down then those whom love are continuously raising that, that we walk with the ring at all times and because it's a majestic sunnah it has a power. If Allah and Sayyidina Muhammad gave power to Sayyidina Sulaiman imagine the power he gives to his lovers who love him and want everything just for a vision of that reality so their ring has a power and they may not even understand that when they're wearing that what type of negativities are being pushed away because maybe they have eyes that don't see. So I mean has a light, when they walk with an asa we just described how many negativities are taken down, how many positivities are dressed and what Allah dressed upon the asa if Nabi Musa because how important the asa is if Nabi Musa had to throw his cane and it became a heavenly dragon that took away and put fear into the magicians of Pharaoh. Imagine then the asa of Sayyidina Muhammad someone who gets with the intention of reviving the sunnah of Sayyidina Muhammad that has immense power, immense blessing and immense reality that protect us from all of what Pharaoh is trying to do upon this earth. Could be known to you and most likely unknown to you what's happening on a daily basis when you walk with you, with your asa. And everything, everything, the siwak, imagine then the power of the siwak and how it takes away nifaq fi qalbi wa shirk khafi. It wasn't for bright teeth, it was so whatever negative energies that shaitan and Pharaoh are trying to cast within your mouth, 
Now again it, with this pushing up of these sicknesses everywhere, the ifrit are everywhere, everywhere. Maghrib time becomes an immensely difficult time by the amount of energies that they're coming in billions all around. How many are entering into your mouth at every moment? So then this becomes like a, a, an asa from heaven. As soon as you put into your mouth every negativity Allah to withdraw from the mouth. So that negativity doesn't stay in your mouth, move from your teeth and begin to enter into the heart. Shaitan is coming into your mouth to enter into your blood, your breathing and go into the heart. And that's why they found that the problems with your teeth is affecting the heart. So they have articles that the, the, the germs on the teeth actually affect heart disease. So I mean everything that we're under attack by, by shaitan and negative energies, everything is in the majestic sunnah. So when we carry that majestic sunnah this should be an immense power from difficulties. Men and women they can keep their siwak in their purse and just use it every time they feel there's a negative energy, they feel there's too much yawning, whatever is happening and they do and they can do their siwak before they eat and do the siwak after they eat. So everything that Prophet brought for us then has an immense blessing and uh, revival and, and every, every type of dress that dresses the believer inshaAllah. Anytime we, we're going to meditate and try to open up our energy you want to be sure where you're opening. So we don't open up on a public transit because you're taking in all the energy in that environment. You don't open up at a mall, you don't open up where you're not sure what type of energy is there because the negativity comes and then it can be more of a negative experience than a positive experience. So the meditation is, is best to do where you feel the energy is, is very pure, very good. If there's a friend that meditates also and you feel the energy is very nice then alhamdulillah. But if there's things in their home and, and you don't feel that is a, is a place that you want to open your energy then best not to. And to, to meditate in our own homes, to meditate uh, somewhere where you feel that your, your prayers and, and everything is of a good energy in that environment inshaAllah. Alhamdulillah most important is to keep the taweez of Ashab al-Kahf because of the reality that it carries and the haybah that it carries to ward off and to leave and to protect us from all these negativities. For safeguarding one's home and, and one's property and residence then Mawlana Shaykh advised for Ashab al-Kahf Taweez to be at the front of the house, at the entry point of the home. And then the names of Ashab al-Kahf are on our Taweezes, those names are very important and uh, inshaAllah so that if they can read the Arabic they can read the names of Ashab al-Kahf and that till today those souls are in charge of many different responsibilities. And, and guarding and protecting. Remember the, the the those whom passed away are very much alive. These are the, the souls of awliyaullah and what Allah dressed them of their realities from jinn and ins are amongst them and to be dressed by them, blessed by them, to be taught by them, inspired by them inshaAllah that by keeping the reverence of the tari the, the taweez that Allah in, inshaAllah make that energy to be always positive around us. When you love what Allah loves 
there's an immense blessing. Allah loves the servants that served in a way that Allah would even mention their service in the Qur'an inshaAllah. So then that has an immense barakah, immense blessing inshaAllah their nazar to be upon us and our families and our communities inshaAllah. With your generous support, we have helped many of the needy around the world. You can make a difference right now by helping us support those who need it the most. Give now at nurmuhammad.com forward slash donate. A Timeless Reality with Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi guides the reader in meditation, connecting the heart to a guide and to daily spiritual practices to understand the effects of positive and negative energy and to progress the reader in their spiritual awakening and the soul's connection to the world of light. The Divine's Ancient Timeless Reality. Order on Amazon.com. Yeah, Ayatul Kursi Dua is, is important during these times of COVID and if you require to, to recite daily then alhamdulillah you know, really, there's no harm in reciting that daily. Anybody who feels that they're coming under attack, shortness of breath, some sort of a pain and difficulty then to read the Dua from Ayatul Kursi and asking for the madad of awliyaullah, rijalullah and the madad of Sayyidina Hazaz And that from these rijal and from what Allah has given to them that that reality of that du'a from these spiritual beings to be present and that they accompany the servant for any type of removal of difficulty inshaAllah. And this is a very strong du'a for the sicknesses that are on earth right now because these sicknesses are from spiritual beings. And that's why we said that these, these are very difficult times because people are not understanding the sickness nor the cure. When if insan is this, when these spiritual beings come too close to humans they have a sickness on them because of the bacteria and everything about them is not to be in the proximity of humans. So when Prophet described pandemics are from these marida, the shayateen that are coming too close onto dunya. Means they're coming too close to insan. As a result of their spiritual presence next to you that you can see every type of sickness is coming on to you. But not only that, they're trying to come into you. So they're coming in from the back of somebody into their shoulders and into their lungs. So their energy comes, their sickness comes. And as a result immediately the person will become weakened and sick by their energy and who they are and they're trying to enter into that insan. So that's why then the medicines from the doctors, the antiviral medicines, the, the vitamins C, the vitamin D, the vitamins of zinc, all is to help your physical body so that your physical body can push off any type of sickness it has. But more important is then the du'a with belief 
that when you believe and that's what doing everything and begin to recite that du'a, then their presence is coming as a result of that du'a. And Allah knows what type of power that, that du'a and then the taweez that we have that goes with that. There's a taweez in the, in, the, in the store and that has the name of Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani of the Salahu Siru and, and many other realities within that taweez and that is also given for these times. Don't think the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad is left empty. They have many sijis, many flags of war that they are bringing upon this earth and preparing themselves for an immense war upon this earth. Something that no eye has seen and no ear has ever heard. It's the, the shayateen that are coming and want to expose themselves. So Allah already has descended many of, of the armaments of heaven upon earth. It's a matter of people believing and going and getting them. So you go get the taweezes and put them into your home, put them onto your being. And these are the, the flags from the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. Whatever, whatever you can do to your ability, again you can, you can always just make du'a and put it in, in, in the home if it, if it doesn't want it onto the children and then just make du'a that Allah knows best. Provide a protection for my children and you make one step inshaAllah Allah comes 99 steps towards us. So keeping it in the house and, and somewhere that maybe won't be distracting to that individual to see it onto their bodies. But yes, you can print and, and anything that you can do to have that inshaAllah and then just tell us that you've done that so that we can make du'a. Ila Sharif al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alayhi wa sahbihi kiram wa ala mashayhina fi tariqat nashbandiyat al-Aliyya wa sayyidu wa sadatina sadaqina al-Fatiha. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK. as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input, and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved, providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings, nurmuhammad.com forward slash donate. Insan al Kamil by author and spiritual guide Sheikh Nurjan Marahmadi describes that in order to be known, the Divine created a sublime treasure for all of creation. The glorious light and soul of the Insan al Kamil, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Vast universes, including every particle in existence, came into manifestation through this all-encompassing ocean of perfection. 
order on Amazon.com. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular need? We bring to you the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide, where you can find special du'as and prayers, as well as comprehensive Islamic teachings. Download this powerful app now on iOS and Android.